Can you hear me, Josh? What's up, what's up, Milwaukee and the world? Welcome to another episode of Saved and the City right here on WKJJWPJQ 101.3 FM with your girl Iberia. Yes, we are live and in living color. You guys on Facebook probably see all kinds of things, drinks and glue and, you know, but that's, it's live. You get to see the behind the scenes. That's how we do it up in here. So I'm so excited to have each and every one of you listening, my radio audience, my Facebook live audience. I couldn't do it without you. Who wants to talk to a wall? So I'm glad that each of you are here with us today. You can see these amazing, beautiful folks here with me this morning. We're going to talk to them in just a little bit. Uh, but make sure that you guys like me on Facebook. Connect with me. I like me because I like you. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm everywhere that you want to be. I'm also on Snapchat. I don't use it very much. But I just got a new intern. Shout out to Michaela holding the camera. Y'all don't even know. She, she working. This is her first day. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Uh, but we are, like I said, we're here and we are ready. We're ready to talk about um, dating in 2017. It's going to be an exciting topic. We've been de dealing with a lot of different things over the last few months. This is episode number 40, guys. Yes. Can I get, can I get a little... Congratulations. I hope I'm getting some hearts and some thumbs ups or something over there on Facebook. Yes. <laughs> because, you know, that, that's a that's I can pat my own self on the back. Shout out to Meatball's Gourmet Delight, uh, our weekly sponsor, Pastor Mark the R. Austin. If you have a need for anything sweet, you want to definitely reach out to her. Just give her a call at 414-418-0616 or visit her website at www.mymemods.com. Dot com. Shout out to Luminosity Enterprises for all of your marketing support. Shout out to Phoebe Grace, who isn't here with us in the studio, but has been holding me down since day one. Uh, that's my girl, my supporter, my assistant, Phoebe Grace. Shout out to you. Um, and also to just all of my supporters this week, um, uh, just in general. You know, we definitely love you here at Saving the City. And if you have not had an opportunity to check out my website, do so. I'm sure you will find a picture of you somewhere. I was like, wow. We've had a lot of people on the show. So check out www.savedandthecitymke.com. Again, savedandthecitymke.com. A lot of people have been asking me, how can I be a part of the show? Go on the website and you'll be able to find the links to take you to that. How can I nominate someone to be a Milwaukee treasure? Go on the website. So now that that's up, everything that you need, even watching past shows, are right there on the website. So, happy summer. It's summer. Did y'all I hope you guys had an amazing 4th of July. I hope you guys enjoyed some good food and uh you know, we're just spending time with your family and for those people cuz I you know, I do stay woke. And I know a lot a lot of black folk was like, "No, we don't celebrate the 4th of July. You don't celebrate Juneteenth." So, whatever you did on yesterday, I hope it was an amazing day. It's all good in the in the hood. Yes, on 4th of July. <laughs> Take it. All right, all right. So this month, I'm going to be dealing with just relationships in general. It's a topic that never gets old because we're always in relationship with people, whether it's romantic relationship, friendships, uh, working relationships, all different types of things. And so, you know, I, I wanted to talk about dating in 2017 because it's real. It's real for a single sister over 30 out here in these streets. It's a real thing. And a, and a single sister who's also Christian, you know, because we have certain, um, certain, I hate to say rules, standards, I think is a better way. We have certain standards that we kind of have to uphold, not kind of, but we that we should uphold as, as Christian men and as Christian women. But then we have a society that says that what we, what we say and what we think is just completely whack. You know, so it's like, how do we uh, find a middle ground? How do we uh, effectively um, live our lives outside of a box, but then don't straddle the fence? It's just a, it's a lot of ways that we can go. So I said, I can't talk about this all by myself. So I brought on my, my amazing friends, Mr. Sam Coleman and our Renita. And our, our Renita. Wow. She, our Renita. <laughs> our Renita. <laughs> How y'all feeling this morning? Y'all here with me? Yes. Yeah, I'm great. I'm sorry great. I have to talk this way into the microphone until I can pull it over so I can look at y'all. <laughs> uh, let's start by just doing some introductions for some of the folks who don't know exactly who you are. Ladies first. Arnita, let's talk uh, a little bit about who you are, what you do, and your current status. <laughs> Single, married, oh. divorced, in between. Uh -huh. who, who is you? Who am I? Um, I... My profession, uh, my background is in clinical psych, so um, 
there's that. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, and That's kind of a hard question, you know, because yeah. we don't want to be defined by who we are, I mean, what, what we, do, we do, what we do. I mean, that's you what know. I do, and yes. so I'm also, but it's a part of who I am because that's a part of my Absolutely, calling, yeah. so I accept that it's a part of who I am. Yeah. Um, also, I'm a program director for a program called the Sisters Program with the Benedict Center, and so we work with women that are in the sex trade, so wow. uh, street-based prostitution yeah. and um, uh, sex trafficking, um, and then working in ministry at World Outreach Center. Shout out to World Shout Outreach, out to uh, Pastor Skip, Pastor Melva. We love you here. And I shouldn't say working. It's a blessing to serve How about ministry. It? Yeah, so. exactly. Oh, you gonna skip over that status? Did you say oh, you my status? No, I mean, she was like, and then we... So, Maybe you don't go ahead. Go no, ahead. I'm single, ready to mingle. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm divorced. Like um, mm -hmm. And looking forward to um, marrying again. I love at some that. Point. I love that. I love that. Sam, I'm like, how you doing? I'm good. How you? How your mama doing? My mom's is good. Excellent. Yeah. I've never met your mother, <laughs> but you know I'm you hoping that she's well. Mama, I know it just flew. She good. Came out. She all right. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Sam. So yeah, tell the people. I mean, we know you also are Milwaukee Treasure, so we're gonna talk more in depth about kind of what you you've done for the the community in the city. Yeah. But for those people who really don't, you're just kind of getting to know you. Tell them that, and then kind of where you are in your life. Okay. Um... I like to read. I like poetry. I like long walks on the beach. <laughs> long walks on the beach. <laughs> long oh, walks on the I'm beach. not trying to hook up no one. Go ahead. Yeah, so I'm, I'm from Milwaukee, uh, born and raised, uh, and That's I think hilarious. just through through uh, just living here in the city and finding different ways to to use my talents to to bring people together to build community. Oh, um, it's kind of what led me to my work in public service. Uh, I, I formerly served as a high school administrator um, in our public school system here, um, and then I recently switched over to uh, working in city government. So I served as the chief of staff now for the common council president. Um, and again, that's just another platform for me to, to help resources get distributed to our communities that need it most. Um, and, you know, like was said already, I, I also serve a ministry at Parkland Assembly of God. I love the Lord. Yes. Yes. I love uh, that. We love. We all love the Lord. Love the Lord here. Yes. yes. Um, and you know, and I, we're I, all in relationship with the Lord. We're first. all in relationship. That's what I was gonna say. And so my relationship status, I I'm in relationship with the Lord and loving it. Um, <laughs> no, I'm single right now. Uh, single and dating. Yeah. Uh, and you know, just kind of. That's good. That's a great segue. Mm -hmm. And dating. So, I mean, you know, and, and again, I didn't want to be like cheesy with it, but I mean, it's just a real thing, you know, that I, you know, that it's on a lot of people's mind, especially like I said, when we're dealing with, with being Christian, but just in general and dating in 2017 and where this kind of spark really was, um, my last, uh, last show, we talked about media versus relationships and the effects of social media and just media in general on relationships. There's a new wave of how to date and that's like not dating at all right. like we gonna chill and I've, ne I've never met you before but come over to my house and be all up and through and we gonna eat popcorn and then probably let's just keep it real have sex no that's not happening I don't know you sir yeah. and then oh can I please tell you okay one thing that I did see recently somebody came oh, I'm freaking where it was I don't know if it was on Facebook or anyhow they said Bible is Bible study and chill Okay. Time. At the, the crib. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I can't, I, I'm like, oh, dang, not a Christian, that you know. But anyhow, so so how has dating been for you guys, or even stories that you know you kind of dealt with from friends or whatever, you know? Because when we're thinking about, we talked a little bit about, about online dating. There's so many different directions that we could go. Anita, let's start with you with what that's been looking like for you, for your friends, and just you know, in general, you know. Our options that are out there. Yeah. Um, so I have a mix of friends. So um, in terms of their relationship status, so some married, some single. Um, and for the ladies that are single, they they struggle with both meeting people and. and are we talking? We're talking about people who are over thirty. Yes. Point. Yes. Yes. Um, because I'm a little bit over thirty. Um, so yeah, me too. Go ahead. <laughs> well, why y'all like yes? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, they struggle with meeting people, and when they do meet someone, kind of struggle with kind of their um, ideas about relationships kind of yeah. lining up. And so, um, and a part of that is where do you go? Where do you meet someone if there's not someone in your church or 
at work or in some other social group that you belong to, and that's if you belong to social groups, because yeah. not everybody really, you know, True. hangs out and mingles like that. Right, so it's like, what do you do? So, the, have any of you, uh, either either of you ever uh, dated online? Yes. Uh-huh. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, it's not, and online, so am I. Long distance, yeah. So let's talk yeah. about the online dating. I mean, that's I really kind of wanted to do a part two from last week because we really started to to delve in into that and just some of the uh, because a lot of times because it's kind of risque to talk about, mm-hmm. people don't have um, like safety measures. So you do end up. What's been some of your experiences, Sam, um, online? Yeah, so have you ever sent some money? Because I've seen people who lost like ten thousand uh, dollars. No, I don't get that. No. <laughs> no, not like that. But um, <laughs> so you know, Facebook makes it really easy to meet different people, you yeah. know, and, and to meet people who who might have similar that or at least say or express that they have similar interests. Right. Um, and so yeah, like you said, sometimes it's hard to meet people, you know, and so. Through social media, you had that opportunity. Yeah. And you have people all over the country, really, and so, you know that that kind of was my experience. Just kind of, you know, interacted with you know somebody on Facebook, and um, I was like, hey. Uh, Any of the specific sites though, like BlackPeopleMeet.com. Christian Mingo. No, Christian Mingo. <laughs> Cupid. No, really just, Cupid. no, so I haven't done any of the, any of the online um, dating actual platforms. Apps, okay. Yeah, but just through. Really through Facebook, uh, it was an opportunity for me to travel. What was that one from back in the day? It really wasn't a dating site. Black Planet. Y'all remember Black, Black Planet? Planet? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Which means you're a little older than Black Shut up. <laughs> Hush. I'm a, I, t- I keep telling people I have a toe in the millennials. I'm just right there in the toe. But you know, online dating is a, is a real thing, you know, and you got to be careful that you're not catfish. Have you heard of, mm-hmm. of being catfish? Mm-hmm. What are some... I think we get catfished anyway. And they, it, ha- it can happen anyway. That's yeah, so the person may not good. look the way you think um, they would look, but people tell you, sell you all kind of stories. It's so true. How has a feedy, a feedy, how has social media, <laughs> how has social media um, affected the way we date, or just in general, your thought process, thought process on meeting people and connecting with people or even once you're in a relationship how social media affects that me yeah whoever wants to kind of go um yeah. i think that you know because we spend so much time on social media then mm-hmm. we get this false sense of security after you've had so many contacts or conversations yeah. with someone on social media and so we may be acting out of that, again, that false sense of security or knowing that person. And right. you don't really get to know that person until you really have spent, you know, enough time getting to know that person. And that, that, that can't happen solely through social media. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand how people can date somebody for two years online and never met them. Yeah. Like, that blows my mind. Like, at some point, you got to connect, you got to meet. You know, and you got to be able to say, okay, you know, people are very, I mean, we we sell people an image. Mm-hmm. Would you agree online? Like, you don't see everything. I'm not going to give you everything. Sam got the, the Batman coach flying back, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's doing, you know, all this stuff. And so... Look, it's we, like that in real life when I'm watching. <laughs> <He's just playing> <laughs> <coach> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So what we're going to do real quick, because this, this is a fun, light topic, because we've been talking about so much heavy stuff over the last couple months. But when we come back, I want to talk about also just kind of roles and relationships, especially in these days, because now we're not dealing with just, okay, what a man's supposed to do, what a female's supposed to do. Now we got just gender identity that's just a part of the conversation now, and it's just a lot. So when we come back, I definitely want to uh, chat about that. Let's go to that first song, Joshua. Let's go. So the um, we're going to go into kind of the roles you know um that we're supposed to play okay. you know as men and women and then just you know right now we're, we're surface but be that's because we're trying to mm-hmm. find ourselves but we you know we can go a little deep if you have either a personal something that we can kind of delve into um and then um the other thing is just kind of like the perception of what singlehood is i say i know we had that conversation mm-hmm. before when we talked about just power singles yeah. and what that mm-hmm. looks like um so um i've been wanting to start this group called power singles mm-hmm. because you know you start talking about power couples mm-hmm. like I can be I'm good like right here and that time especially that like kind of new millennial or new millennial um, person 
um, they don't necessarily want to go to the Christian date, dating and mingle at the church. Maybe I don't even, maybe I just want to just hang out and not have to have the obligation that I'm a piece of meat on the auction block. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so it's just a different, we got our own money, we got our own lives, and we don't necessarily have to have someone to make us whole, you know, but, you know, at the same time, we do want that. So, you know, so we're talking about that, what that mm -hmm. looks like. But then now everybody's so strong by themselves that nobody seems available. Right. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Good, Michaela. Hey, y'all, Michaela's working it out. So we stay live even behind um, as the music is playing. So right now, Essential is on. And the second time, the next time we go, we'll uh, play it out so you guys can hear it. All right. Hope you guys still rocking with us. We're talking about dating <coughs> in 2017. Get some questions together, guys who's, who are watching, um, because I think we're going to continue the conversation probably even next week. And I'd love to answer some of your questions on you know, dating, you know, how to, how to pr prepare, and I hate that whole idea of preparing yourself, too, I just think, I mean, not that you don't prepare yourself, but trying to prepare for someone else almost seems like I'm missing out on my own life, I think you prepare for yourself, and then in that, you know, someone else, what's wrong with preparing for somebody else? See, this is this is the conversation we need to be on, right, right. I don't know, because I, I may not be, that's good, let's go there, let's go there. Let's go there. How long on that song, uh, Joshua? Ten Josh. Wave. Ooh, wee. <laughs> How long on that song? Oh, uh, a minute and 19 seconds. Okay. Oh, this Josh, Josh Mother Jones? Yeah, that's, that's Joshua Jones. <laughs> <laughs> that is the Joshua Jones, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 You guys, make sure you share this with your friends and family. We're just getting started. Just a little service. We're about to go deep now. This is essential. I wish y'all could hear it. All right, Joshua, we can fade down uh, Sam headphones. I need a headphones. What's up? What's up, you guys? We are here locked live each and every Wednesday to Saved and the City, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. with your girl, Iberia, Kingdom Solutions for Real World Issues. And today, we are talking about dating in 2017. Kind of a light topic, but kind of a heavy topic, too, when you really think about it. And so we actually were talking just a little bit off air, and we hit on some things that was just like, Oh, yeah, let's talk about that. And so um, there, there was a group that I had uh, wanted to start. Um, I started it. I was going to say, it kind of started. I kind of yeah. started it. And then it was like, then I just got annoyed. I, honestly, I, not with, with the idea of the group, but just of being single. <laughs> I just was annoyed. Like, I don't want to be the poster child for single. I just, you know, not that there's anything wrong with it and I, it's okay. But at the same time, it's just every all of the stigma sometimes that goes along with being single. It's like, I just want to live my life. And Lord, if you could send me somebody along the way, that would be awesome. So we started to talk about some things. And I was like, I just hate the idea of prep. Uh, and I'm, I'm using hate a lot. <laughs> That's very extreme. But I hate the idea of like the preparation, prepare for your mate. And I was like, you know, maybe I should just prepare for myself. But then Arnita jumped in and said, well, what's wrong with preparing? with your, uh, for, for a significant other. And so that sparked some thoughts, right? Yeah, I mean, don't you prepare to get a job? Wow, okay. You prepare to go to college, you prepare, you know, you, you prep a, you prep for a dinner you're gonna make. Yeah, yeah. If, if this relationship, and especially mm. if you're planning on marriage, that's mm -hmm. the, one of the most significant relationships you will have, ever wow. have in your wow. entire life. Wow. And people tell you don't prepare for it. Like, don't uh, wish for it or, or look for it. Just just don't think about it and then it'll happen. That's ridiculous. Right, like right. what significant ha has happened in your life that you put no thought and no wow, work to, wow. no preparation for, nothing. Right. And just imagine, so I've dated people who were not ready for a relationship. And so you can think about like why it's so important to, to prepare. Like 
do we want to find or come across somebody who we're dating and they ain't ready for a relationship, you know? And so, I mean, they financially are not ready, spiritually, emotionally, yeah. you know, have not made any type of preparation. And so they get into this relationship and you looking like, I'm trying to find my exit strategy. Like, mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out like how to get out of this. Yeah, you know what? Well, I'll keep it real with you guys. I think where it's coming from, for me, is because I prepare for so long. Okay. And so I'm over prepared. Like I'm like oh, I'm prepared. <laughs> like I think that's what it is. It's like if I stay in this oven any longer, I'm gonna be burnt. Mm -hmm. You know, like I think that's kind of where it hit for me. But I guess I'm, I'm technically no, I'm, because we're always growing. We're always, you know. But I think that's where it's coming from because in this in this preparation, for, for instance, you brought up being uh, preparing for school because you know that at the end of this preparation, okay, I'm about to get into this school, or at the end of preparing for the meal, I'm going to put it in the oven, it's going to be done. But when you're preparing for a mate, and then you're almost 40, or almost, you know, almost 30. Yeah, but you got to be sure it's going to happen. So I remember from Women in Worship when Pastor Cynthia Brace was talking about believing and being sure. Yes. So you got to be sure. Yes. You can't prepare with the, the with doubt in your mind that this is going to happen, or doubt that it's going to be the right person, or... Um, that what I'm preparing for is actually going to happen. So you got if if you jumping in and out of the game, yeah, you're not sure. So, lady, let me let me ask y'all this. Yeah. So, for preparing, does that mean you just are preparing? Eternally in your house, like behind you, like <laughs> when y'all get out and go and try to meet. I mean, I know a man that finds a, you know, so I know we gotta yeah. do something. Y'all have it easy. I just feel like men have it easy. Like, you know, I mean, we well, got easy. Yeah, I just feel like because you get to choose, and it's okay for you to choose. As choose. Christian women, we in my mind, well, the way I perceive it, mm -hmm. as Christian women, I'm supposed to, you know, I can be in a place, but I can't really but be you like have to wait for somebody pursue. To I can't pursue it because then it seems like I'm being aggressive, and then. I don't like that feeling either. If I'm pursuing and, and if the guy feels like he's he the prize, even though he is, see, you see, know? I'm ready to chat. I'm ready to challenge that in 2017. Let's like, challenge it because this is 2017. I'm ready to challenge the the notion that 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 women have to sit back and chill and wait to be chosen. Uh, uh, I, I think I think I hope you know women have the same level of like you no, know, I have to pick you, you know. If you're not what I want, and you, you, you know, like if you just I think it's the approach, though. You know what I mean? I think there is a choosing that happens with women. You know, when if mm -hmm. I, you know, after I meet a guy or we've communicated, then there a, a part comes where it's like, okay, this isn't it. This doesn't match what you know I, what God has shown me or my spirit or whatever. But it's I think it's the way we approach each other. So I guess the question is, how do we? I mean, especially in this day and age, honestly. For a, a woman like myself, it's like I'm getting lost in the dust because women are doing exactly what you like. They, psh, the people are women are chased these days. At least the ones I have I haven't seen very many, mm -hmm. unless they attend World Outreach. <laughs> Other than that, you know, it's like they like they want the man. They're going for the man, and I think that it makes it puts the men in a place they feel like they don't have to do things anymore. Well, I I think not that they don't have to do anything, but I think. You know, well, I don't, I don't want to equate this to a Go career, ahead. but I think since you talked about the job, it's like people search for jobs and employers search for, you know, it's like I have to do some talent acquisition work Come too. And I think it's an investment. It's, yeah. So I think uh, if you put it all on the, all on us, um, it, it, it leaves us with too much power and, and women with less of a voice. And I think you probably will miss so many great men if you're sitting back waiting on them to initiate or waiting on them to choose, like you really might miss or overlook. That's interesting because I think I can yeah. wait for that person to initiate and that doesn't take away my power to choose mm -hmm. or to be active. But what if they never um, initiate though? That's what I'm so do you you all don't initiate? I don't. It's a very rare Why? But see, that's what we are. I mean I, again that goes back I, to me in my mind to this whole the whole Christian perception of what we're supposed to be as women at least that's in my mind uh -huh. that we're not you know we're not supposed that he's supposed to find you he's supposed to debauch you i've seen a story there was a, a tdj through something about debauch or something like that he's supposed to find you and chase you and you're supposed to be in prayer and lord send him to me and now i'm just sitting on the side and i'm blinking and i'm hoping that he catches my smile and a part of me sometimes really wants to be like you you're adorable uh what are we doing? Like you do this, I do that. Like, but I don't. 
And I think it's also too, like, I think y'all are just kind of used to, I'm going to say rejection, you know, <laughs> but you know what I mean, because that's what you've been, you know, but then for me, like, because I've never really been in that place before, you know, it just, it puts you in a place of like, okay, now I got to deal with what if they don't like you back, you mm -hmm. know, and then it's like, now I've already stepped out of my role of womanhood to do this. I probably shouldn't have stepped out in the first place and it's made me want to retreat. You know, so kind of have all of those different types of things going on. I mean, I my preference is that person initiates. Mm -hmm. I will join in the work. After, but see, listen, that, also, but, Sam, too, like the initiation, I think, if we just to be clear, I would walk up and speak to someone, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And I would have a conversation with them, but I'm not going to say... Well, so will I, but I'm not going to ask them out on a date. Exactly. I think that's what that's we're saying. What I mean. Like, we would say... And you you're know, not going to propose and say, will, will you marry me? Heck no! <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> no! But you know what? I've seen... But that's... I've been seeing that more lately. Did, did you see that side eye? <laughs> yes. But did you see, the, did you see that, that, that yeah. Facebook post with that girl? To me, that was... I don't know. Like, well, you're going to marry me. Bro. And he was yeah. like... He was on me. He had his drink in his hand like... <laughs> he seemed totally unbothered. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the other thing that I've been seeing a lot of, like this is way beyond marriage, is this whole kind of like these women walking around with dog chains. Have y'all seen that? Yeah, so no. on like leashes. And, yes. Yeah. And then like the man will put the them, woman is on a leash. The woman. Oh, yeah. I've seen that before, yeah. but I don't know. If that's whole, I don't know. I think that's, yeah, I think that's something else. Yeah. Yeah, that's something. That ain't real, but I'm just <laughs> that ain't real. Right. But it's, uh, that's what I'm I mean, saying. It's real, but, but it's, if we think yeah. about what our our like even the generation prior before ours, like this is what they because they're so in tune to social media, yeah. it's not real to us. But to them, that's oh, that's cool. Okay, so let me try to get a leash around this, this chick's neck, yeah. or them saying that yeah, this is cool. You know, so you know what? So the, uh, the I guess the whole thing is like the perception of being single is different depending on the person that you're talking to. And there's so many different types of single. That's kind of why I asked you guys your status, you know, initially because me, I feel, I always say that I, I'm a uh, single single, you know, because I've never been married, you know what I mean? But then you have people who have been married before. I think that that's, that gives you a different kind of perception of singlehood when you're single. Again, people who have been, um, um, you know, who have children and are single. I think that's a completely different type of perception. So I think a lot of times churches, <clears throat> I haven't really been to a single anything at any church that I feel like this is all right because they try to lump everybody into one category. And, and just, let's maybe. go bowling. Let's have a singles bowling. <laughs> I I you know what? I can't take it. I you know, it. I I singles and bowling. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a thing? Like, it's just so yeah. stinky. And, and he, <laughs> But the, you know uh, uh, the other conversation we had before um, Sam because uh, you said that I said you know how do we get guys to come out to some of these singles events and I said is, is this something that you think that you would come to you know in the future and you openly said no, no. like I you're not going to the singles event either I mean I've never done the singles ministry yeah. stuff I just yeah. so who was the single ministry for then. Like, you know what I mean like if, like the I mean, real... it's for single people but there are some people that are going to opt in and some people opt out I just and the ones so, that I'm not Yeah, so I, I think um, I think we need um, like real life interactions, you know. Um, well, and, and not that bowling is not a real life <laughs> Listen, but I, think, I don't want to go bowling. <laughs> yeah, but I think uh, if the goal for, if the goal is is for single people to get out and do you know do things recreationally and have fun, um, I don't know if that needs to be facilitated by a ministry. And no offense or no shade to anybody that's in a singles ministry. Right. But no, if that no has to be facilitated by a ministry, it makes me ask other questions about yeah. like, do you have some some barriers to getting out and being social and meeting people? Like, yeah. you know, do you just sit at home and go to church and then go to singles ministry? Right. You know, like I hate it. And there's never good. any good catches. Right. Oh, that's a shame, but because maybe there is. Maybe I'm sorry. I'm sure you're a great catch. And you're in the singles <laughs> ministry. I'm coming. I'll come. And a okay. great bowler. And a great. <laughs> I'm sure you got a mean. Well, hi, what do you call it? Stroke. Strike. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're going we're gonna to be right back after this song with Arnita and Sam. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Hey, Joshua, can you um, play that out just so we can? Oh, thank you. So, Arnita, you're going to move okay. out of the view.
and then Michaela. Um, this focus, once we come back from the song, is just going to be on Sam and I. Am I done or do I come back? No, you're going to come back. Um, we're about to do um, the MK Treasure thing. Okay. So we're going to talk a little bit about the stuff that you do with City Hall, Jarrell, all these things. Okay. That's essential. So what I'm going to do first that, man? is um, something called change announcements. Okay. So I'm going to read through those um, and then I'm going to introduce you as my walking man, I can't see y'all comments uh, today, so um, I can't answer your questions, but I will. What else? What's something new so we can talk about when we come back? Something juicy. <laughs> I mean, after we talk about. Oh, I know. We probably could talk about. I was saying, what's something like? Any like boundaries when we date, like okay, how good. far can you like okay. in this dating process? Yeah. How far? We could talk about boundaries. I just recently had a conversation about um, you know just selecting mate. One of the things I said was, you know, I'm comfortable with you if I'm not steady in the word and consistent in the word, you can't be my man because I don't know what I'm hearing from God. Oh yes. And so. That's a, that's a that's a growth decision, yeah. you know, that yeah. I made. But yeah. boundaries and oh yeah, all that. boundaries, intimacy. Let's go there. Yeah. And, and our deeper relationships are our deeper relationships are so off, and that's part of the reason that we're not getting what we're looking for. I hate it. I hate it. We're so expecting stuff that. Oh, expectation. We talked about that before. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Struggle with that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. What is it? Expectation versus the um what was oh, it? Chantel, Chantel saying you're on their expectation. What is it? Expectations versus um so not expectations. What is it? Um why come to come to me. Ex no, same thing. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jarrell. Hey, Jarrell. I can finally see you because you know I like to say hey to everybody. Hey, Bridget. Hey, Greg. Other folks. Expectation versus what? Oh, I can't. Versus experience. experience. No, no. Let me put this other phone on people and see my Android. Android. <laughs> 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 Android user. Yeah. Acceptance. Hey, Jason. What up, Jason? Acceptance, Brandy. Acceptance. Was that it? Expect no, no, no. Oh, I think we're back. And we are almost back-ish. Turn the radio down for me. Turn the radio down. And we are back. You are locked live right here to Saved and the City each and every Wednesday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. on 101.3 FM with your girl, Iberia. This has been a fun, light show. Today, we're talking about dating in 2017, just dating, period. And, you know, we got all kind of views kind of going back and forth here. Uh, Sam said that he challenges y'all to go approach men. Lies! You better <laughs> wait on your Boaz. I hate Boaz. I mean, I don't hate Boaz. I don't even know why I say You know, because that's church. Oh, I'm churched, I and I do not want Boaz. Okay, so we, we not, we're not on that right now. We're going to come back in a minute, and we're going to talk about that. But, you know, that was Ruth's I, man. I'm just trying to help the house. He's trying to help you out. Listen, okay? 
Okay, so, you know, so Sam is double guest today. He's also my Milwaukee treasure. And we're going to talk to him a little bit about uh, the different things that he does in the city. Just an amazing young man. And just humble and just so supportive. And I really, really appreciate him and I wanted to show that today. But before we go there, we're going to do our church announcements. Now, remember, if you want an event announced... Just send it to me at savedandthecitymke at gmail.com. Again, savedandthecitymke at gmail.com, and I'll announce it free on the radio now. I'm going to tell you guys this. You cannot send it to me the same morning of the show. I had like five people send me something this morning, and I don't have time to add it to the thing. So at least... Uh, 24 hours in advance and I can make sure it's announced so and if for whatever reason you miss today's show that I'll make sure that I announce it on our next show if you're a Venice this weekend then I'll just make sure I put it in the group so make sure at least 24 hour, hours in advance and just email your flyer your community happening to saved and the city mke at gmail.com all right this week's church uh, church announcements jazz in the hood live music family and fun Friday uh, July 14th 4 p.m. through 9 p.m. They say bring your chairs and blankets. 4th Street between North and Garfield. Um, and it's in honor of African American Bone Marrow Awareness Month. I didn't even know that was a month. See, we learned something new. Come learn how you can save lives with bone marrow and donations. So make sure you guys come out to the 5th Annual Jazz in the Hood event happening again Friday, July 14th, 2017. Um, also, uh, Women, Wine, and Words, Chantel uh, McKenzie is having an event July 8th. Oh, that's coming up really, really soon at 3 p.m. It's the He Said, She Said edition. She says, you're invited to bring your favorite beverage and enjoy an intimate afternoon of sharing and hearing directly from the hearts and minds of their very first man panel. You don't want to miss that. And that's going to be happening at 6770 North 43rd Street in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Tickets are $15. Just visit www.womenwineword17. Eventbrite.com. Vendor and sponsor sponsorship opportunities are available. Also on July 8th, My Addiction, the Drug Awareness Presentation is happening at Destiny Plaza, 7210 North 76th Street in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's a play hosted or, or put on by uh, Voice of the Fatherless Child, and it's a, a free event and open to the public and is dealing with uh, a drug awareness and addiction. Um, also, um, Garfield Days is happening. If you want some food and good music, make sure that you uh, stop out there uh, Saturday, July 15th, 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, you guys know where that is on the north side, right on Garfield Avenue. Um, and then also July 15th, DH Music presents Movement Music Volume 2 Listening par uh, Party. I'm actually hosting that event, so I'll put more information out about that. And again, that's on July 15th, hap 15th happening from 2 p.m. through 4 p.m. And uh, the location is to be determined. Oh my God, you guys know exactly what time it is. It is time for one of my favorite uh, parts of the show where I take time to shine light on amazing people doing amazing things uh, through a segment called Milwaukee Treasures. So, you know, we hear so many negative things in Milwaukee, happening in Milwaukee. This person died. This person was shot. This accident happened. And I just don't feel like our, our airwaves, our social media waves are saturated enough with positive things. And so that's one of the missions through Save the City that I try to do is to shine light on amazing things and amazing people happening. So one of those gems happens to be sitting right next to me today, Sam Coleman. You still hanging with me, brother? I'm hanging with you. I'm yes, with you. yes. And so you know, he's he. Uh, I, I decided to have him as my Milwaukee treasure because you just do so many things. So why don't you um, start by just telling the people a little bit about? I mean, we know the, city, the chief of staff. You know, we can start there. And, you know, now you're on the board for the Milwaukee Finest. You know, and I know it's a passion for you. So uh, why don't we talk about some of the things that you're connected to and why you have such a love and a heart for the community. Yeah, yeah, for sure. First of all, um, I appreciate you. I appreciate you even creating this this platform and this space to highlight yeah. the positive things that are happening in our city. Absolutely. Um, highlight the... The, the men and women of God mm -hmm. who, who are who are impacting the, the city around us. So I appreciate you, um, everybody that's watching. Um, thank you all. Uh, so again, I'm from I'm from Milwaukee. Like I grew up on on 17th Street. Like this is yes. my my city. And so Ooh. I'm I'm proud of um, I'm proud of the resilience and um, I guess and the wisdom that we can gain from a place like Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. um, and so I. Uh, 
you know, I, I, I knew that I didn't want to leave and move away and take my, my talents to South Beach. I knew I wanted to stay here um, and try to, <laughs> South and South try, to make a, try to make a difference, um, especially where, where it affects young people. Yes. Uh, and so with Terrell Ballard and the Milwaukee's Finest Scholarship uh, Foundation, <laughs> Uh, through through Parkland Assembly of God, um, yeah. and even through through Be the Change program, mm -hmm. through NPS and Running Rebels, you like were at public allies, for us. public yeah. allies, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like all of these opportunities to give back, um, it, it really opened my eyes to to the potential that we have here in our city. Yeah, so that's kind of what what led me, um, it, you know, into public service, and right. and I know that I'm never going to get rich doing it, and so. When I was younger, I always thought maybe I was and, be rich. it depends on <laughs> how we you know identify what rich is. Rich you know? is right, yeah. and so my my reward certainly comes from um, not a, not a paycheck, but yeah. my reward comes from people being able to realize their potential and being able to to access opportunities, and so. Yeah. Um, you need to dress pretty shy not to be rich though. Come on, model. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, go 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 right. Go express like hey, yeah. Uh, tags. <laughs> right. um, no, but and, and and I also think that it's important that while we do this work, yeah. right, we can't be out here looking crazy either. This is like true. people need yeah, to know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. People it's need so to true. know that you can be young and fly and and love the Lord right. and, and wanting to make a difference too. Right. Like, we can't be right. out here raggedy. Right. Can't be. So, I love that. Uh, so I also uh, want to set an example for young men who who mm -hmm. um, who don't see other young men putting in work here in the city around them. And so, right. um, so as the chief of staff, I, I spend a, a good portion of my time in City Hall. But um, you know, shout out to President Hamilton um, and to the, the council members who are putting in major work. Yeah. Um, you know, it gives me an allowance in the room to really get out into the trenches and do yeah. work. And so. Um, you know, hey, it's, it's so much happening here in the city. I, I cannot, I know this session is to highlight me, but right. I'm going to use this time to highlight the city yeah, I live in. Yeah, it's, you know, it's nothing I can say to, yeah. to pump myself up. It's about, you know, serving God. It's about serving his people, um, okay. making the world around us a better place. Oh, my God. Okay. Just applause. Because I, I, love, I <laughs> love that. You know, because you have so many, because it's either you can be a part of the problem or you can be a part of the solution. Right. You got right. two choices. You know, it truly is, even though it's a little cliche in this day and age, but you be the change that you want to see, you mm -hmm. know? And even in the city where you are, a lot of people are just, it's this whole hurry up and wait kind of mentality mentality that they have, waiting for people to do something else, waiting for people to make the change, but you can start today with your own community, with your own family, it's one person at a time, that's how you change the world. So I'm so appreciative, uh, Sam, of everything that you do, so why don't you tell the people how they can connect to you, or even support some of the efforts you know, that you're doing? Yeah, for sure, so, um, you know, I, I think firstly the a lot of my work comes out of our park line and Big God, and we have a lot of, of, of really positive opportunities to connect. And even though you know folks are watching, if you belong to ministries already, um, I hope that we can can have some cohesion between ministries. And yeah, so uh, yeah. let's work together. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can. I'm on Facebook all the time. Sam Coleman, uh, Instagram agent underscore Coleman. You know, we can link up through there. Uh, call my trap phone. <laughs> no, um, well, look, just just you know when we reach, you know when we see each other out, you know if if it's through, through the city, you can reach us um, at, at City Hall. Work with President Hamilton's office. You know if there are opportunities that I can serve you and that I can support you, please let me know. Yeah. Um, and you know I, I think it's it's so much work that we can all get in on. Mm -hmm. um, and I just believe if you want to go fast, you go alone. But if you want to go far, we got to go together. Wow. Come. So. You better preach. You was the associate pastor over at uh, Parkland. I love it. I love it. Wow, Sam, well, we definitely have to have you back. Actually, we're going to have you back right after this break. <laughs> you know, as we continue. Yes, and we will be right back after this. We love you, Sam, here at right, Saving the City. Let's okay. go, Josh. Yay. Here you go. Here you go. All right, Nita, come on back. All right. So now you're going to open the shot up a little more to get everybody. Okay. Oh, I hope you right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Yes, Trying to make you stand on your feet this whole time. <laughs> so I love where we were saying we want to go. You know, we come back. You know, because this is like the end, so we want to give give them something good. Mm -hmm. um, I said I love where we're gonna go, but I forgot what. Well, what? <laughs> I'm talking about boundaries. Oh, boundaries. Yeah. boundaries and stuff. Okay, right. Expectancy. 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 
Y'all gotta cop this new essential. Alright. We'll be back in a few minutes, guys. Stick with us. And then we have about 10 minutes left in the show. 10 to 12 minutes left. It's uh, Pastor Greg from Park Line. Hit me up. Shout out, uh, Pastor Greg. Shout out, Pastor Greg. <laughs> hey, y'all. We see y'all there. Dating 2017 is happening. But how it's happening, that's the issue. <laughs> so, what's your status? Hmm? What's your status? Oh, I'm I single. I'll say it on the thing. I, I, just, I didn't think about that. I should probably say in my current status mm -hmm. is. But you know what? I think it was Pastor Randolph that said half, half the folks that say they're single ain't single because it's always like somebody. In, <laughs> it is always somebody in the back. Single right. unavailable or single and unavailable. So oh, single, right. single is your legal status. I'm single and available okay. for the right person. Mm. I don't have time for no fools no more. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I be cut, ooh, and I be cutting people off so strong too. I be feeling bad about it, but you know, I just if it's, if I feel like it's not gonna gonna benefit me or them, it's like at this stage, I can't. Like um, one guy, yeah, I'm thinking we should probably fade out. Like all he wore was like ball caps, <laughs> and I was like, where are we going? <laughs> I can't, like all the time. And you 40, like. I don't mind a ball cap, but it's like... Did you say something to him about it? Yeah, I told him don't call me anymore. That was what you said? Oops. Maybe we should deal with my issues. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm open book. All right, Josh, let's fade down so we can... This is going to be good. <laughs> you need to and give him a chance I, to take the hat off? Uh, no, but you know, we had an open conversation, and I literally was like... Uh, I said, you, in all your pictures, because I hadn't met him yet, I said, all your pictures, he's like, you just got on ball caps and... Hold on. So you had never met him? No, but I just, and I, but listen, I, I said, you know, you don't, you def, I said, I'm more into like either a suited guy or a guy who has a uh, more variety in their wardrobe. <laughs> and I said, so it's probably and, not going to work. you have seen his wardrobe? I saw his picture. Have you seen his head? Maybe he was losing his hair and he's feeling <laughs> subconscious. You said well, he was then that's 40. an as well. <laughs> right. So the uh, <laughs> shave it off. <laughs> so what happened? So we, I, I, we, I know folks that are listening uh, on the radio. Like, what are they talking? We're talking about dating in 2017. I'm giving candid. Like, I'm very. I will just cut cut people off, and maybe that's my issue. But no, here's the thing. I posed it to him. I, I told him. I said that's the issue. He was like, No, you're right. He was like, I don't even own a suit. Perfect. And because I'm, I'm too old at this point that I want to try to change somebody. If it's not you, then I, and I wasn't saying that he was, you know, like, oh, God, how horrible. It's just like, I, because I know me and I will be well, in I think a part of it is, yeah, so we, we have these expectations of people that in many cases are just unrealistic. The other part of it is we got to, we, <laughs> we spend so much time focusing on our deal breakers that we are not experienced in dealing with the deal makers. What are your deal makers? Like what That's makes good. the deal for you? And we spend so much time focusing on the negative. I love that Bill Wilson says, you're never going to rise higher than your confession. And if your confession is always about what's negative, what's not working, what are your I ain't going to take whatever. What's your deal makers? My breakers? Makers. Maker. Oh, makers. Somebody that loves God. Somebody that genuinely, wholeheartedly loves me and is interested in me, attracted to me. Um, somebody that lifts me up, like I'm not doing. But see, all you the don't lifting. get to know that until you get you get to know the person. And so at this point, like I truly, again, I keep saying at this age because I just feel like it's, I'm just so much older than I was years you're not ago. That old, like, you're but still I, young. I still, you know. But so for me, God, I have a discernment. 
Like and and I and a lot of times back in the day I would just look past that mm-hmm. feeling mm-hmm. and that knowing and that beyond a feeling I would just know and I would still be like but you know what let's just see and at this point beyond I was talking about the guy's clothes but really I you know when I looked through his photos he has some big booty girls just you know like that's your main that's one of your main photos you know so he got that then on that and I really don't like I you can tell certain yeah. things. You know. Well, yeah, you talked about the knowing, so I was saying and on I'm break, I was just having yeah. this conversation with some oh, yeah. friends the other day, and I said that um, going into my next relationship, you know, I'm not, if I'm not steady and consistent in the word, you can't be my man, because I don't know that I'm really hearing, truly hearing from God, and so mm-hmm. I need to be led by the Holy Spirit, and I'm not trying to over-spiritualize yeah, yeah. it, but at the end of the day, there is a knowing, just yes. like you know don't go down that road or mm-hmm. ooh, don't, you know, take something with you that you weren't thinking about taking. You have these knowings and you have knowings about people as well. And so we need to pay attention to that. Yeah. So. yeah. And then uh, we were, so, so the knowing, you know, and the, so let's say that you get through that phase and the knowing says, yes, I know that you are the one that I want to, you know, learn more about, you know, and, um, but I don't know, is courtship dead? Because it feels like it, because I kind of was talking, we I don't know if we were talking online or offline about Netflix and chill, and now Christian's talking about some Bible study and chill, like, can we yeah, just go walk around outside for a second, can we go to the lake, even though I know it's Milwaukee, and it's scary, you might get hit by a car or shot, but, you know, it's or like, not, can we, or not, Milwaukee is a beautiful Thank city, thank you, what is your so confession, many, yeah. go, I'm sorry, yep, so, <laughs> Milwaukee is a beautiful city great with so city many on the Great Lake. Yeah, that a person just got ran down the other day. I'm just saying. Okay, so what? Ha- so no, what we were also talking about was boundaries. You know, let's say that's what I'm saying. So we go through the knowing, and now we got you know we we begin this dating process. Now a lot of churches would say. You need to group date. I'm not. I'm not here for the group dates. I'm not here, I'm for, not here for the group date. I think it might be fun every now and then, but yeah. I think the reason why they say that, why that is said, is for accountability. You know, so we can all be got time grown. Yeah, we grown. Yeah. <laughs> I get, you know, one of the fruit of the spirit is self control. Yeah. I, I self control. I mean, I don't need anybody to watch me. Yeah, to, yeah. You know, to control my my behavior. Right, and I, I just, I'm, I'm over, I, I, I don't know. Again, I can see that kind of when you're a little bit younger, but, at, you know, so I want to get to know this person kind of one-on-one, you know, when it comes down to it. But then let's say that, you know, you begin the dating process and you, you like this person, and now you guys are exclusive. How do you, especially if we're dealing with being Christian and dating in 2017, how do we keep those boundaries? And is it really what, possible to be celibate? Well, and let's, and let's talk about I'm just throwing So that I'm in wondering, there. like, so y- y'all help me out. So, if, if, you know, if it's a brother that's, that's feeling, uh, you know, feeling, you know, uh, and he wants you to come over to the house for dinner. And how, what date what date number is this? Because it's not the first. It's not the first? No, I'm not coming to your house the first day. Are okay. you ready to? What about the second? Absolutely not. How many dates? How many dates? Or is it like a thirty-day rule? Or? Like, why well, I gotta come? I don't house. have a hard and fast rule. Where would you it has go? to be this many dates, but the first few, no. Okay. Probably not the first few. Like, why you only come to your house? Yeah. So I, I mean, so if it was to eat, like I cook, right? Right. And I cook better than small plug. Better than any, <laughs> better than any restaurant I've been to. I'm just yeah. like, oh, I could have, I could have done this, like. Right. Little knives chopping up, you know. And it would depend on how I knew the person. Like okay. if I've known them prior, and then we kind of start, you know, dating, okay, then that you. might be different. But if I'm just meeting you, I don't I know you. Your house, right? I don't right. Know you see what I'm saying? And you definitely not coming to mind, you know. So that's that. That's the vibe with that. But the other part is, um, I guess then that's kind of a question. Let's say that you've been kind of dating now for about a month. Mm-hmm. You know, you definitely feel comfortable with each, with each other. I mean, like you said, you know your own, you know your own accountability. But I don't know. Sometimes with me, if you catch me on the wrong day. Okay, so don't go into the house. What about kissing? What's what? what? Child, I love to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is that a bad? I think it's a gate. It's a kissing is a gateway it's drug. A way, <laughs> it's a gateway to the other side. I don't think. What do you guys think? Go ahead. Go in. Well, Don't scare. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, I think that there are healthy ways to be affectionate. Um, True. If it's kissing, if it's so we can't, but we can't massages. You and, can't do massages. You can't do massages. What? See, so you got the phone. You got the girl at your house. We ain't got to do that. Massage and kissing ain't nothing about to happen. 
But it, but it, it, it may not. You know, I don't have to worry about <laughs> no, no. it. It may or it may not. It may or it may not. Okay. So, so massages are, are off limits for. You know what? I gotta I be politically correct because we all stay in the city. I don't know. It just kind of depends. I, I think it depends on you. Got to know. I think it comes down. You got to know yourself. I mean, what kind of massage are you talking about? Like rubbing the shoulders or like regular like, like back rub, leg foot rub, massage? Yeah, like a foot rub, back rub, shoulders. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. It's so funny that you guys brought that up because, like, you know, you're saying it in kind of a different context. But I, I, if I'm just very candid, I get these random texts sometimes from maybe people I've met along the way. And I don't know if this is their pickup line or their line to make me feel like, yeah, I want to see you. Is, oh, I need a massage. Hmm? Or let me give you a massage. Like, if I haven't, like, no, take me, let's go somewhere. Like, that's not, like, if I've had a hard, I don't know, but to me, that's, like, reserved for the person that I'm with. Like, okay. significant. I think others. that's inappropriate. I think that it's is very appropriate. Um, and it's a turn off. Um, and it's not what you want. You're just saying that as a as a gateway. Again, another gateway. <laughs> Kissing and massaging is your gateway. The moment you hear that, I flee. <laughs> it's like, flee. So, no kissing. No shoulder I didn't rubs. say no. I didn't say you can't, can't do part two. I didn't, no. I didn't say you can't do it. I, and, and one of my love languages is physical touch. So I'm high on physical touch. So I'm physically, verbally, emotionally affectionate. And so I want that person to be that way with me. But there are lines that have to be drawn. So let's, how let's, far that we're, we're really at the last five minutes. So what... So let's give our, our kind of like our, our parting kind of words for dating in, in 2017. We're talking about boundaries. Brothers, if we can't do nothing, you're, you're, we're going to have to eat that, make that, not make that. I know, but well, you know, all, <laughs> I know that's what no. it seemed like. Cause I mean, I mean that, and I think I really want to have a, a real, that's how I definitely may have to have a part two. Mm -hmm. Like really what the reality is, because again, if we, we can't, what do we do? Yeah. How do we date? So, but if, and the reason why I say that, I know we are running out of time, yeah. but you know, I think it's important to have this this conversation because there are so many men. You know, when we look at women who who are Christian women and, and, and profess to be Christian women, there's this perspective or perception that there's nothing that we can do. Like maybe we can hold hands, yeah, um, and maybe we can go to a movie. I don't like. I don't think going to the movies is a good idea for a date. Oh. I don't think. You know, so, you know, but what else can you do? You know, if right. everything is a gateway or, or you got a hug from right. the side. But like, you know hey, what? You know, exactly. Like, exactly. <laughs> and, 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 oh, God, why we run out of time? time because here goes a, a great thought. There are so many Christian men that are well known in the Christian culture that are marrying what you would consider to be secular women. Mm -hmm. Israel and Newbury. Mm -hmm. oh, Mary, uh, he married um, uh, uh, Milian. Mm -hmm. Christina Milian. I'm not saying she not she don't love God, but I'm saying she's not your typical Christian girl or uh, Pastor uh, Jamal Bryant and tweet. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, but there I go think, my shirt up over right, my head. Right. But right. I answer your question is we have to raise our level of expect expectancy not just for that person but also for ourselves. Yes, wow. you can date oh, and be celibate. Mm -hmm. um, my body is my body. I have the right to decide what I do. With but do you want to be you celibate? Don't. That's the struggle. Do I want to be? Sex? I want to have be. sex. I want to have sex with my husband. I do too. And so, but sometimes um, it'd be like three well, years, and then it'd be like, "What are we gonna do, Lord?" Huh? Then it's how long? <laughs> it ain't been I wanna, you know, I, that's but something it. I don't ever want to do again. I want to date somebody else for three Josh, years. Josh, you're in this like, like, man. Look, I'm here. No, I'm saying. I'm saying. I mean, you. That person that's should have. Prayer. That person should have a knowing as three well days. whether I'm the one. So I don't want to date somebody for three years. I've done that. Been there. No, I'm definitely not dating. Not I got age. t shirts trophies, and all that. Not doing that again. Mm, I can't do it. Okay. Oh my God. Like guys, we are we're at the end of the show and we were really about to get in there. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to have you guys come back. You let me know if you can do that on the next Wednesday. All right. So I want to give you a quick uh, kingdom solution. Um, it says uh, though the Bible doesn't talk directly about dating, it does speak values about relationships, God, godly interactions, and principles that can be applied to how you date. First Corinthians 10 and 31 reminds us that no matter what it is we're doing it can be used as a means to glorify God when it comes to dating I think we could all benefit from relaxing a bit about searching for hard and fast rules and learning to apply godly wisdom to every single part of our lives you know so really that's really what the focus is relax 
you know, God knows exactly what you need. Um, fo try to focus on the positive. God, we can keep, we can keep going. I really don't want to end here. But thank you to all of our sponsors. Thank One, you. my mama, Meemaw's Gourmet Delights. <laughs> if you want to sponsor, you can hit me up at SavedInTheCityMKE.com. And thank you to my amazing guest, Sam Coleman and Arnita Renee. Thank real you. real quick, you. Arnita, tell the people how they can connect with you for all the amazing things you do. Um, you can connect with me on Facebook, uh, Arnita Renee, or on my website, ArnitaRenee.com. Yay. And, um, got some stuff coming up. Okay, excellent. And then you got Sam's information a little bit earlier, and I'll make sure I post both of their, uh, stuff in our group. So, until next week, be encouraged. Be Date encouraged. safely. Bye. All right, bye, <laughs>